Welcome to Entertainment Highlights on Breakfast Daily. My name is Kwame Dazi. Renowned music producer Zap Mallet says he acquired the name Zap during his secondary school days at Accra Academy. Zap, who enrolled in the prestigious All Boys Secondary School in the mid 70s, made the disclosure on Footprints with Samuel Atamensa. He said he was a fan of the American funk band known as Zap, which was popular when he was in secondary school. According to him, Zap became his nickname as a result of the love he had for the band and their music. Zap Mallet, born Emmanuel Mallet, is regarded as one of Ghana's most accomplished music producers and a pioneer of Ghana's hip life genre. While at Accra Academy, he was a member of the school band before entering the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to study publishing skills for his bachelor's degree. For three times in a row at the early years of the Ghana Music Awards, Zab Mallet was named Producer of the Year, making him the first and only recording engineer to achieve that feat. Ghanaian actress Ifia Odo has took a fiery debate on social media with regards to her tweets on the new COVID-19 vaccination directives. While some have said she raised a good point, others have held insults at her for her tweet. In the wake of the government's resolve to make COVID-19 vaccination mandatory, Efiodo vented her spleen on the matter, saying it should not be compulsory. As part of the new COVID-19 protocols at the Kotoka International Airport, people who intend to travel out of Ghana must be vaccinated. In her tweet, Efiodo wrote, quote, Malaria has killed more people than COVID-19, approximately 20,000 people yearly, but they are mandating us to take a vaccine. Taking a vaccine should be a personal choice and not a mandatory decision. Guess I'm stuck in Ghana because I'm not taking any disapproved vaccine." Unquote. Some have however described her position as dangerous and ignorant. <music> Following Peace Square's reunion, the duo had planned to headline the live sports show to celebrate their comeback. However, they won't be able to do it on the announced date. Peter Okoye, popularly known as Mr. P, has been hospitalized due to intense rehearsals for their comeback. Due to his ill health, the show, which was slated for 18 December, has been moved to Christmas Day. Sharing a picture of himself on medication yesterday, the singer wrote on Instagram that it had been a challenging couple of days trying to power through immense pain, fever, and general body weakness. He said they were very excited about giving their fans an amazing show on the 18th. Unfortunately, his body has taken quite a beating with several intense rehearsals back to back. According to him, his doctor has asked him to take some rest and build back his strength. And that's all for entertainment highlights on Breakfast Daily. My name is Kwame Dazi.